Hi Kingdom Kids, I hope you're doing okay and had a good week at home. I hope your summer's off to a great start and you're doing okay. Last week we talked about the parable of the sower and I said we were gonna start our parable series, but I feel like God wants me to just make a little bit different this week, so that's what we're gonna do and then hopefully next week, Lord willing, we'll get back to the parable series. But this week we're, we're gonna talk about a story that Jesus actually witnessed and was sharing with his disciples and to everyone that was listening in the temple. So it's in the Bible in a couple of places, but we're gonna look at Luke 21, one through four. And Jesus looked up and he saw the rich putting their gifts in the temple treasury. And he also saw a poor widow put in two very small copper coins. Truly, I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all the others. All these people gave their gifts out of their wealth, but she in her poverty gave everything she had to live on. So he's in the temple, he's talking to his disciples, he's talking to anyone who's listening to him. Everyone's bringing their tithes, their offerings, presents, gifts to the temple to honor God with what they have. And they're bringing big, beautiful items, they're bringing their big bags of money. And the small, I'm assuming frail widow, who is someone who lost her husband, maybe she doesn't have a lot, she comes in with these two mites, or I'm showing pennies, but I don't know what a mite looks like, I'm assuming it's small. But she comes in and she gives this to God to honor him with her money. And it's more than all of the, the gifts, the bags of money, because it's everything that she had. Last week, we talked about the different hearts that were receiving of the gospel and how it worked out for them and how we talked about we want to have good soil. Well, this week, I want to talk about your hearts and what you're willing to give up or willing to honor God with what you're willing to give him. I know you don't have big, beautiful gifts or maybe big bags of money at home to give to the Lord. I know you don't work 40 hours a week and have a paycheck, but what we're talking about here is putting ourselves in a position where we can honor God and be willing to give everything that we have to him. The Bible also says that we are bought with a price and that our bodies and our lives are not our own, they belong to him. So how are we honoring him with that? And are we willing to give up things, maybe the all the money that we have, all the money that we have, are we willing to give that to the kingdom if he asks that of us? So I wanted to ask the question today, what are we willing to give to the Lord? If the Lord asks for you to give something up, maybe it's give your favorite toy to maybe someone who doesn't have toys, or if he's asking you to give up your time so you can spend more time with him. I hope you are, because when we put ourselves and we position our hearts to be fully uh, submitted to what God wants for us and what he is asking of us, then our offering, it doesn't matter how big or small it is, when it comes with our full heart, it means more to him and his kingdom. So that's what I want to talk to you guys about this week. Again, next week, we're probably going to get back to the parable series, but I really wanted to ask that question of you. What are we willing to give up to God? And if you maybe are having a hard time, maybe thinking about things that you don't want to give up, well, let's pray about that. You can call me, talk to your parents, talk to your siblings, whoever you trust to get prayer from, Ask for prayer for that because we want to have good soil in our hearts to receive the word of God, right? And that we also want to have our hearts in a position that we're willing to give whatever Jesus asks for us and so that we can honor him with that. Okay, Kingdom Kids, if you have any questions, let me know. We're going to start Zoom again on Sunday, so be prepared for that. And uh, please be good for your parents. Let's put ourselves in positions and open our hearts that we are willing to give to God whatever he asks of us. And he will be blessed and he will bless us. Bye, Kingdom Kids.